Hello and welcome to a mini lecture about the state sum formula. The state sum formula is a formula for the Kaufman bracket of a diagram. And uh, rather than being a recipe for, for computing the Kaufman bracket, it's simply a formula that tells you what it is exactly. Um, and we need to learn about this in order to understand uh, the theorem about the span of the Jones polynomial, which is why this is important. Okay. So let's begin. I'm going to start by telling you what is a state. Well, what is a state something of? It's of a link diagram D. I'm going to tell you about the states of a link diagram D. Um, so definition, a state of D, it's a function S that goes from the crossings of D into the set plus and minus one. So what does that really mean? That means that s, little s, is going to give us, for each crossing in d, a sign, either plus 1 or minus 1. In other words, a state is really nothing other than a recipe for writing a sign at every crossing. So let's give an example of a state. Plus, minus, let's make them plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, uh, minus one. There we go. That's a state. And how many states are there all together? Well, in this diagram here, this is a diagram of the figure eight, um, there are four crossings. So we could each give each crossing two signs. So that means that there are two to the four, which is 16, 16 possible states. Um, uh, which is why I'm not going to list them all, but we're just going to talk about this one little s. Okay. So if, I've given, if I'm given a state, I define S of a diagram D. I'm going to define this thing SD. What it is, is it's the smoothing of D by S. What is that? Well, suppose I'm given a crossing C. Well, at that crossing, there's some sign, right? The state gives me a sign S of C, which is either plus 1 or minus 1. Well, if it's plus 1, then I remove the crossing I've got and I replace it with this smoothing here. And if the sign SC is minus 1, then I remove the crossing I've got, and I replace it with this thing here. So, big warning, you need to find yourself a way to remember which is the plus 1 smoothing and which is the minus 1 smoothing. My way of remembering it is that I say to myself, well, imagine the arrows were pointing up, and that this was a crossing with sort of linking number sign plus 1. Then the positive smoothing would be the obvious one that preserves the orientations, and the negative smoothing would be the other one. That's my way. You do the thing that's best for you um, that you feel you can remember. Okay, so let's do the smoothing. So let's define for ourselves uh, SD. Okay, well. Uh, actually, I think you should pause. You pause the video, decide what you think the smoothed diagram SD should look like. Pause it and have a go. Well, here is my answer. Um, actually, no, I won't give you my answer. I'll give you some clues. So let me draw an up arrow uh, that tells you which way is up according to uh, the sort of standard diagrams of the smoothing. Well, for this, whoops, this isn't working. Uh, for this crossing, up is this way. For this crossing, up is this way. For this one, well, it's this way. And for this one here, it's this way. Well, I could reverse up and down, it would still be fine. But anyway, now, have a go at this moving. Pause it, try. Okay, so for a plus one, my smoothing is, I decide which way is up, I erase the crossing, and then I join things up in such a way that the arrow can drive through. That's for a positive smoothing. There. Whoops, okay. Ah, let me start again. There we go, positive smoothing. Here, another plus. So, 
I erase my crossing and join everything back up in such a way that my red arrow could drive through the crossing. Uh, this one's a minus one, so I delete it and join it up in such a way that it breaks the arrow, the up arrow. There we are. And the same thing here, I'm going to join it up so that it breaks the arrow. There we go. Okay, so that's SD. Uh, next definition. Bar SD. SD with bars on it. Well, that's the number of curves in SD. So what, what happens is that, well, um, this resulting diagram that you get here after you've smoothed, it's got no crossings in it. So that means it's a bunch of curves. In this case, there's only one curve. In general, there could be several. So just to show you how there could be several, if this sign here, whoops, let's get rid of that. If this had been a minus one, then here I would have done the other smoothing, which would look like that, and I'd get two components, right? Okay, let's put everything back how it was. So in this case, all we get is one component. So bar SD is one. Let's move everything up a little bit. So finally, the final quantity I need to define for you is bar s. That's the sum of the signs in s. What is that here? Well, s had two pluses and two minuses in it, right? Plus, plus, minus, minus. So I add those up and I get zero. So bar s equals zero. OK, so that's the state. And that's all the uh, terms we need to know. Here on the new slide is the state sum formula. It says that the Kaufman bracket of a diagram D is the sum over all the states of that diagram of the following quantity. I take minus a to the minus two, minus a squared, to the power uh, number of components of SD minus one. And then I multiply it by a to the sum of the signs of s. That's the state sum formula. It's a big theorem. In the notes, it's theorem 7.7. .7. Uh, it takes some proving to do. But let's illustrate with an example. And my example is going to be this entirely ridiculous diagram of the unknot here. So let's do the state sum formula. I'm going to take me four copies of this diagram. Why four? Because the diagram has two crossings and so I need uh, two to the sorry two to the two which is four states. So let me draw all the states on for you. Um, let's call the first state S. Uh, let's just call it S1 and let's let S1 be the one with two pluses. Let's let S2 be this one with a plus and a minus. Sorry, I should have plus one, shouldn't I? Plus one, minus one. Here's, I'm going to call it S3. That's going to be minus one, plus one. And here we're going to have S4. Uh, that's going to be minus one, minus one. Okay, so in order to do the state sum formula, in order to use it, I need to sum over all the states. That means I need to list them. And then for each one, I need to work out this quantity after the sum. So I need to know bar SD and I need to know bar S. So let's work that out. Let me work out the smoothings of all of these guys here. Actually, let's do that in a short while. Let's start by doing the sums of the signs. So bar S1 is two. Bar S3, that's zero, plus one minus one. Bar S3, nope. Bar S2, that's zero. And bar S4, that's minus two. Now let's do the smoothings. Um, so I'm just going to do it. Uh, I'm going to take the positive smoothing of this crossing, which is this. And I'm going to take the positive smoothing of this crossing, which is this. And I'm going to keep doing the rest. Pause, if you like. Here I take the negative crossing, which is like that. And here I still take the positive crossing, which is like this. 
Uh, on the left, I take the positive crossing, that's that. And here I take the negative uh, smoothing, sorry, that's that. No, I made a mistake. Back up. Oops. I should take the negative smoothing, which is there. And down here I should negatively smooth both ones. Well, that means this, and it means this. Okay. I hope you believe me. Uh, you can check that for yourselves. Okay, so in this case, bar SD, that's equal to 2, because there's two circles in this smoothing. Bar, so that's bar S1D. Uh, S2D in bars, how many components are there? One. Bar S3D, how many components are there? There are three. And here, bar S4D, how many components are there? There's two again. There we go. So the state sum formula says that k alpha bracket of D is equal to right. So for S1, I have minus A, minus 2, minus A squared to uh, mod bars S1 D minus 1, that's 1, times A to the bar S1, which is 2. Okay, minus A to minus 2, whoops, minus A squared. I should have bar S2 D minus 1, A to the bar S2. Well, bar S2 D is 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. And bar S2 is 0 as well. Okay. Let's get you guys uh, closer together. Um, so next term plus minus A minus 2 minus A squared should be bar S3D uh, minus 1 A to the bar S3. Now what is bar S3? That's 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. And what is bar S3? That's 3. No, that's 0. Okay, better. And there should be one more term. Let's just make more space. Sorry about that. Plus minus A to minus 2 minus A squared to the bar S4D minus 1 a to the bar S4, well, what's bar 4, Blah. what's bar S4D? That's 2, so this thing all becomes 1. What's bar S4? That's minus 2. Minus 2. Okay, let's try and be brave and work this out. Um, I'm going to get minus 1 minus A4 uh, plus 1. Plus a to the minus 4 plus a squared. No, plus a to the 4. Minus, it's not minus, it's plus, plus 2. Uh, minus a to the minus 4 minus a 0. Okay, now plus 1 minus 1. Minus a to the 4 plus a to the 4. Plus a to the minus 4, minus a to the minus 4. Plus 2, minus a to the 0. Well, a to the 0, that was just 1, right? And all I get is 1. Check. Check by looking at the rules for the Reidemeister moves. Okay, that's the end of the video. You can see the proof of the state formula, for, state sum formula, for yourself in the notes.